Hello, my name is Eduardo, and today I am here with another video about App Inventor. Well, um, today I will show you uh, how to make money with App Inventor or with your apps from App Inventor. There are many ways, okay? Some ways uh, you have to include a web viewer and things like that. Or you can sell your apps directly in the Google Play Store, and that it's okay, okay? So if, if you have a very nice app, you can sell it, okay? But um that it's sometimes quite hard okay so uh, i guess the best uh, way to to make money with app inventor it is uh by using ads okay so you have to monetize your app and the best uh, uh, place to monetize your app in my opinion it is AppMob. okay well if you can work with AppMob, but as you know it is not possible to uh, make it directly with uh, App Inventor, but there is a solution for you, and this solution it is called Appy Builder. Appy Builder, it is a server. Okay, okay. Well, it is a App Inventor server. Okay, it's a personal server. Okay, that is basically it is a modified version of a uh, App Inventor. Okay, but best of all, okay, this uh, version allows you to monetize your uh, apps and not only that not only that okay it has many uh, original features that you cannot find in the original app inventor okay so and the, uh, another thing that it's good is that you can if you know how to work with app inventor well you know how to work with uh, with app builder okay that is this the, this is the name but basically it is app inventor okay but modified version and it, it's really cool. It is really cool. Well, the only thing that is you that you have to pay for. Okay, so you have to pay for this uh, version. Okay, it is a monthly fee. Okay, so not very expensive. I have to be honest. It's not very expensive, and you can make uh, money with this option. Okay, ah uh, well, I will show you just a little bit about uh, Appy Builder. Okay, if you uh, have think about uh, how to monetize my apps or how to make money uh, designing apps, okay, this is the, the place. Okay, I uh, I have some apps. Okay, I monetize some apps and I make some money. Okay, it is not a lot, but it helps. Well, let's go here. This is Happy Builder. Okay, Happy Builder. As you see, as you can see, well, there are some different colors and stuff. Okay, but it's basically like app inventor and it has many options okay the good thing about this is that you have some special components that you cannot find it in a uh, app inventor okay for example you have here a chronometer you have a gallery viewer etc etc you can find this information the full information here in the website uh, app builder i will show you just uh, some of them Okay, basically the idea about the money. Okay, but well, you can find some interesting things like this floating button. Okay, so that you have there uh, at the bottom of the right side of the screen. Okay, that it's really cool. Uh, well, you have some recommendations. For example, you have some help here. Ah, another thing. Uh, there is a special uh, forum. Okay, for Happy Builder users. Okay, you can ha find. Uh, and have a lot of support from users um, from the team, uh, the Appy Builder team. Okay, so there's no excuse. If you have problems with any component, especially the new ones, well, you can find a solution over there with all this kind of community. Okay, well, as you can see here, for example, the floating button, it has a little description. Okay. So uh, for this to work, the screen scrollable should be set to true. Well, you set the screen scrollable to true, that it's here, and that's it. Well, and you have many more things. For example, you have here, um, let's go to the interesting. Most of them are quite the same. Well, here in storage, you can have Firebase, okay, DBay. So this is to communicate with a Firebase, okay. So it's very cool, okay? So not only you have the tiny DB, so you have something more uh, professional, that is the Firebase DB. You have the option file, for storing and retrieving files, okay? Use this component to write or read uh, files on your device, etc., 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 okay? FTP manager, 
okay that is another addition that a lot of people like okay uh, well and that's it you have you can find more uh, things over there especially some of them are very useful okay so because some of the users are asking for these kind of uh, improvements and well, little by little uh, the team uh, the api builder team it is like adding these kind of features then we go here um, here for example you have this option google map to show information in a google map okay so that is another thing and let's go with the interesting that it's monetized so you can have different options i just mentioned atmo because this is the one that i use and amazon okay but atmo it's is for me it is the best option to monetize your apps well um basically the idea it's pretty simple you have two options you have the banner and you have the interstitial inter or something like that okay this big screen that uh, covers all this uh, this uh, image that cover all the screen or it can be a video or something okay so this is the ad okay so it's like a pop-up thing well you have the description here it's a full page ad oh that's okay okay so well for these things of course you need to have a atmob account but you set your admin account and then when you create your app okay you can search for your app in your apps or you can add the app manually you select android and then you add the app and then you will have or they will assign you a, a number okay for that app and that's it that's the way you work with um Atmo, okay some recommendations if you are planning to use this um always try to have some space uh, between your uh, your your banner and your uh, interaction or your buttons or whatever your app okay if not you are going to uh that's not the best way to to have the the ads because sometimes they discount money because you don't are you are not following some uh, uh recommendations uh, about how to set your ads okay well for example if i have here a button so sometimes it is quite tricky because sometimes people get confused or they have big fingers and they click on the ad or they click on the button okay so to avoid that it is always recommendable to have some space okay or not to have a uh, interactive uh, elements near uh, close to the to the banner for example yes so that that is something that i recommend okay to, uh, to avoid many uh, problems so for example i use this thing i always insert for example here an image so that is not interactive okay so you cannot click the image okay for example i can always set it like something like 32 for example and then fill parent and that's it here insert something and you have some space so it is not uh, possible to click uh, over here by accident okay but that is a, a recommendation well as i as, as i told you you have here the atmo here for example for the banner you right here you uh, write the number that you got from atmo okay you enable and I just let these things like that, okay? Even the size, just let it in automatic. Then you go to the blocks, and you have special blocks for Atmo, okay? For example, when you close your ad, uh, when your ad is closed, sorry, when collapse, expand it, and you can uh, trigger some actions when this happens, okay? For example, when fail to load, well, you can load it again using this um, <clears throat> Atmo load, okay? So well, that is basically the idea with this, with the banner. Okay, um, for the Atmo inter interstitial. Okay, you have others that are very useful. For example, as I told you, it is a full page ad. Okay, then you have it here. When someone closes this ad, well, you can trigger an action. Okay, for example, uh, show a message or I don't know, or maybe start something in your app. Then when, for example, you uh, this ad, it's always like loaded, preloaded, okay? Before you show it, you have to load it. So you have, for that, you have this. We usually use these blocks at the beginning of, 
at the beginning of the app okay when the app is, is loading you load the ad okay and then you can uh, select if you want to show the block or you select when okay maybe with a button or maybe uh, when you uh, uh, maybe with a condition or something okay well if you fail to show the ad for example it was a uh, problem with the with the app or with the ad okay well you just can uh, load it again for example you insert here the load ad again okay when the ad left application that means when you click the ad and then the uh, <clears throat> the ad takes you to for example to the web browser or something well you can set an action when you load the ad for example if you load the ad you I, you want to uh, you want to show it in that moment okay so that is an idea and basically this is the idea with this uh, server okay so this is the way you can monetize your apps if you work with app inventor this is the best option for you okay so I've been working with this thing, okay, and I really like it, I really like it, okay. Sometimes I don't have too much time to work with uh, new apps, but I guess it, it's very productive. If you have a very good idea with an app, you can make some money with this, okay. So, and well, and you can take advantage advantage of the all the options or the special features that it has this uh, personal server, okay. For example, as I told you, the floating button and this. Ah, there is another that I didn't mention, okay? Because I don't use it, but a lot of users use this thing okay, in monetize that is in app building. <clears throat> well, basically this idea is to sell uh, products, okay, from your app. So maybe your app, it's free, but in this case, you sell digital content. For example, you can sell like uh, skins or, or different customs for a character, or maybe you remove ads or something like that, okay? So that is the idea with this, with app building, okay? That it's very cool because you are not selling the app, you are selling your products inside your app, okay? And it's very cool, okay? And you have a, you have tutorials and you have the support from the guys on Appy Builder, okay? And don't worry it, it's really nice okay and i recommend you try this thing okay if you are like trying to make something with your ability to make apps with app inventor okay if you know how to work with app inventor you know how to work with app builder as i show you okay it, it's quite the same but think about this thing okay app builder it's a very complete version okay especially uh, to work with okay more as a as a job or something okay and imagine if you work every day making apps if you have the time okay you can make some money with this thing well i guess that's all if you want uh more things about app inventor i will uh, uh let the script uh, in the description the link to go to the website okay to check it and investigate okay maybe if it's good or not for you um also, if you want to see a tutorial with App Inventor, making an app with App, uh, with app Builder, okay, just write it in the comments because I will show you that it's quite the same, okay, it is not very different. Um, something uh, that is important to know. Uh, it is not possible to import sometimes uh, projects from App Inventor to App Builder. Sometimes uh, you will have like errors, okay. So I recommend that if you have been working with App Inventor and you have your app, well, maybe the best thing is to start over okay to start the app from from zero okay in happy in happy builder okay and that's the idea okay well my name is eduardo okay i hope you enjoyed this uh this video about app inventor and how to make money with app inventor uh, using happy builder this uh personal server okay and uh, i will see you next time thanks for watching this goodbye